good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, David Sarapian Demon, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Baku government should leave the blockade of Artsakh, Amnesty International, EU condensed Baku ambassadors 3 to MEP, Amnesty International. In Western Armenia, the ancient city on the slopes of one castle is being destroyed. Our main expectation is that we will not be alone and that all the Armenian people and the Armenian state will support our just struggle. Artak Beglaryan. On June 29th, the Day of Remembrance of the Holy Translator Sahak and Master of Mashtot is celebrated. David Sarapian, Artsakh war freedom fighter, liberation movement figure and writer, was born on February 4, 1966 into the family of renowned architect Edward Sarapian and eminent scientist Emma Sarapian. From an early age, David began to display extraordinary abilities. He drew beautifully, read widely and wrote lyrical poems and short stories during his school years. Already at a young age, he showed himself to be a true knight, with a sense of honor and dignity, an inner urge to fellowship with the weak to protect the defenseless was endowed with a sense of justice for which he was called the conscience of the school. After graduating from the high school named after Derzinski, David was admitted to the cybernetic faculty of the Yerevan Polytechnic Institute. When he was in his second year, students were denied the possibility of exemption from military service. However, David, who was short-sighted and could be exempted from service, decided to join the army, believing that a man should go to the school of courage. In May 1984, he left for for the army to serve in the Baikonur military unit. Then in the Khmelnytsky region in October 1985, he was found guilty of defending his honor by fighting alone against 10 people. Although during the trial, David declared that the conflict was inter-ethnic and not domestic as they wanted to portray it. It was nevertheless sentenced to four years in prison, about which he writes, I went through part of my life in a very interesting place. After his release from prison, David did not return to the institute. He considered it not his vocation and was overwhelmed by the desire to write. In this way, he tried to write down what he had seen, felt, and experienced. He writes stories in which he presents the harsh daily life of the military and the suffering of people in prison. The full article is available on our website. The Tondrak volcanic massive in the Tsakhkunyans mountains is the very prototype of a tonir. Tondrak is a cone-shaped volcano with a circular base. According to tradition, when the god Vahagan once told the Armenian rupees the art of war, they would gather around the fire of the Tondrak volcano after training. They talked, cooked, and ate, and one day Vahagan took the ashes from the Tondrak fire and gave them to the giants, ordering them to be given to the people so that they could make a tonir and bake bread, and he also ordered the women to guard the Tonir fire since it could burn permanently. After all this, Vahagan ascends to heaven and watches from above to make sure the oven fire doesn't suddenly go out. Armenians still keep the Vahagnakara given by Vahagan to this day. The fire and smoke from the buried oven are a symbol of strength and peace in the home. Some worshipping Armenians compare the oven to the setting sun. Armenian women, whenever they bake bread or prepare food, bow before it like a deity. The International Human Rights Organization Amnesty International has referred to the blockade of the Berzo Road, urging the Baku authorities to leave the blockade of nagorno karabakh Artsakh and then the growing humanitarian crisis. On June 15, Azerbaijan stopped all kinds of transport through the Berzo Corridor the only way. nagorno karabakh Artsakh has been under siege since December 2020. Since then, the inhabitants of nagorno karabakh Artsakh have relied on humanitarian aid from Russian peacekeeping forces and the Red Cross now that the Azerbaijani army has blocked blocked the entrance. The humanitarian crisis is worsening. On June 26, the Red Cross was authorized to resume the evacuation of seriously ill patients. However, hospitals are desperately short of medicines and medical supplies. The Baku authorities should leave the blockade of nagorno karabakh Artsakh and put an end to the ongoing humanitarian crisis, the tweet said. The European Union has condemned the obvious threat against members of the European Parliament by Vagiv Sadigov, Baku's ambassador to the EU, which was made after the EC delegation's visit to the Armenian-Azerbaijani border. The OOC media information platform published an article on the subject. Sadigov, who is also Azerbaijan's ambassador to Belgium and Luxembourg, wrote on Twitter on June 23 in response to the European Parliament delegation's visit to Armenia. Sadigov posted an image of an Azerbaijani-made sniper rifle with the following text. They know what they are doing 
Azerbaijan to protect themselves. The Azerbaijani made in Stingle IST 14 pound 5 sniper rifle has an effective range of around 3000 meter. Stay away from the Azerbaijani state border. Commenting on Sadigo's message, the EU spokesman told OC Media that they were aware of it. We condemn such behavior, which is absolutely unacceptable for an ambassador accredited to the EU, the spokesman said. On June 26, the chairwoman of the European Parliament Subcommittee on Security and Defense issue, Natalie Loiseau, also addressed the threat. Is this a threat to members of the European Parliament? Is this really coming from an Azerbaijani diplomat? How low has Azerbaijani diplomacy sung, ignoring the decision of the International Court of Justice and holding 120,000 people hostage is nothing to be proud of? Is that why your nerves are shot? We Europeans with strong values are not impressed. We will continue to support peace and respect for the people of Nagorno-Karabakh Artsakh, Loazov wrote on her Twitter page. The ruins of the city known as the ancient city of Van built on the slopes of the Van fortress are slowly being destroyed. The ruins of the ancient city built under the kingdom of Ararat have long been a target for treasure hunters. According to information from the Mesopotamian news agency, treasure thieves have destroyed almost the entire area through illegal excavations. In addition to the damage caused by treasure thieves, various parts of the historic city are being used as cattle pens. The history of the ancient city begins in 800 BC. The structures left behind by the Kingdom of Ararat, from rocks captured to metallurgy and craftsmanship are the great and rich legacy led by our ancestors. The fortress of Van and the buildings within it must be protected. Facebook post by Artak Beglarian, advisor to the Minister of State of Artsakh, today is the 200th day of the Azerbaijani criminal blockade of Artsakh. Instead of going into past developments and what we should do, I'll just say that I'm sure the blockade perpetrators and executors were also surprised by the resistance and determination of Artsakh's Armenians. In this historic period, our main expectation is that we will not be alone and that all the Armenian people and the Armenian state will support our just struggle. There is no Armenia without Artsakh. There is no Artsakh without Without Western Armenia and Eastern Armenia. On June 29, the Armenian Apostolic Church celebrates the Memorial Day of the Holy Translator Sahak and Mesrop. Saint Patriarch Sahak Parte was the son of Nurses the Great Catholicos, trained and skilled in the musical, rhetorical, semantic, and linguistic arts. Sahak Parte contributed greatly to the development of Armenian national culture, supported the creation of Armenian writings, and became the founder of Armenian education and bibliography with Reverend Mesrop Mashtot. Saint Mesrop Mashtot was born in 360 and learned Greek and Persian as a child at first. He served in court as a clerk. However, after leaving worldly life behind, he became a member of the clergy. During his training, Mesrop left the importance of Armenian letters and an Armenian Bible. He traveled to Edessia and Tigranaget with his disciples, conceived Armenian letters with divine power, and finally formed them with a Greek correspondent named Horopanos in Samosat. After the invention of the letter, Sahak and Mesrop began translating the Bible, and did so so perfectly that the Armenian translation of the Bible was called the Queen of Bible translation centuries later. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Mm -hmm. 